Hello students I hope all of you are fit and fine Today we are going to learn the chapter plants increasing the number We have already discussed the chapter we are going to just revise the chapter and solve the exercise from the chapter So let us start In this chapter we discussed about new plants from seeds seed germination dispersal of seeds new plants from other parts of plants and crops and vegetables so these were the topics that we discussed in this chapter which were they new plants from seeds seed germination dispersal of seeds new plants from other parts of plant and crops and vegetables and what are the important points from the chapter well plants are the most useful gifts of nature for animals including human beings plant produce many seeds but only few are able to grow into new plants seed has a seed coat seed leaves and other baby plant inside it air water and warmth are necessary for germination of seeds what are the other points the development of seed into seedling is called germination so this is a definition of germination which is important seed have to get scattered or dispersed so that they get favorable conditions to grow otherwise what happens is if seeds just fall beneath the tree then it will not get sufficient water sufficient sunlight so that it can grow well okay so it needs to be dispersed and what are the agents of dispersal they are wind water animals also it can be dispersed by explosion of fruits new plants can also grow from stem cuttings underground parts of plants and leaves also India has two main type of crops rabi which is which is grown in winter and kharif which is grown in summer we can protect crops and seeds in different ways okay students so these were some important points from the chapter now let us solve the exercise what is the first question seed with two seed leaf is called damaged seed monocot seed soaked seed or dicot seed what is the correct answer the correct answer is dicot seed next question right soil warmth enough air and water are necessary for the growth necessary conditions for the growth what are the option children bird seed or books what is the correct answer seeds is the correct answer third question new plants can grow from the leaves of ginger bryophyllum onion sweet potato what is the correct answer from the leaves of now here the only option is bryophyllum so let us stick bryophyllum which feature helps a coconut fruit to float in water what are the options fibrous outer covering spongy part presence of hook presence of spine well in case of coconut it is fibrous outer covering let us stick mark fibrous outer covering next question plants that need clay soil to grow well are wheat and gram rice and jute jowar and bajra tea and coffee what is the correct answer rice and jute so let us tick mark rice and jute rice and jute is the correct answer insecticide and pesticide protect crops from different uh, from being destroyed by drought excessive rain pest or elephant what is the correct answer the correct answer is obviously pest let us tick mark pest so pest is the correct answer now that we have solved tick the correct answer let us see fill in the blanks maize has dash seed leaf of course it is a monocot seed so the correct answer would be one it has one seed leaf any part of potato that has dash on it can grow into new plant what is the correct answer the correct answer is birds or eyes in india crops like wheat and gram are grown from november to april and are called dash crop what is the answer for this question rabi onion and dash need well drained sandy soil what is the correct answer correct answer is groundnut and last but not the least plant helps to reduce soil dash what is the answer answer is erosion erosion is a correct answer let us see next question complete the series now here the question is mango is a seed then dash is a root what is the correct answer sweet potato sweet potato is a root hiptage 
is carried by wind here the agent of dispersal is wind then dash is done by explosion here agent of dispersal explosion what is the correct answer p p is the correct answer p is carried by explosion cabbage is grown in winter dash is grown in summer the answer is brinjal brinjal grows in summer rice needs clay soil dash needs black soil what is the answer cotton last maize needs dry soil dash needs sandy soil the answer is onion okay so these are the correct answer mango is a seed sweet potato is a root heptage is agent of dispersal here is wind p is uh, generally dispersed with explosion cabbage grows in winter brinjal grows in summer rice needs clay soil cotton needs black soil maize needs dry soil onion needs sandy soil so these are the answers for the question complete the series let us see next question write short answers the question is name the outer covering of seed the answer to this question is the outer covering of seed is called seed coat what is monocot seed the answer is seed with one seed leaf is called monocot seed what is germination the answer is the development of seed into seedling is called germination what is meant by dispersal of seed here you will write the scattering of seed or fruits away from their parent plant by agents of nature is called dispersal of seeds fifth question what are kharif crops crops grown from june to october that is a summer season are called kharif crops rice maize jowar and bajra are kharif crops why do we spray pesticides on crops the answer is obviously we spray pesticides on crops to protect them from being destroyed by pests okay students so these are the questions which had a short answers now we will solve the questions which will have long answers so how are plants useful to us that's our first question here you will write plants are useful to us because they give us food such as cereals pulses vegetables and so on they provide us with wood fiber rubber gum tea and coffee they also supply us with life giving oxygen life on earth cannot exist without plants so these all points should be mentioned for the question how are plants useful to us let us see next question name the different parts of a seed draw a diagram and label the parts first we will write the different parts of the seed you will write the different parts of the seed are seed coat then cotyledon or seed leaves and baby plant this baby plant has tiny shoot and tiny root then you will draw the diagram so here there is there are two cotyledons that you have to show then here there is there should be tiny shoot that should be shown and here there is a tiny root so this diagram should be drawn along with this question then name the conditions necessary for germination here you will write the conditions necessary for germinations are air water and warmth in bracket you can write sunlight also germinating seeds need air to breathe water makes the seed coat soft and warmth is needed for the cells of the seed to become active it gives its energy fourth question why must seeds be dispersed what are the different agents of dispersal here you will write plants are fixed to the ground and cannot move from one place to another if all baby plants grow near the parent plant all would not survive they would not get enough sunlight food water and space to grow so seeds must be dispersed the different agents of dispersal are wind water and animals seeds are also dispersed by explosion of fruits so these all points should be mentioned for this particular question why must seeds be dispersed and what are the different agents of dispersal now comes the last question what is agriculture here you will write the practice of growing plants on a large scale is called agriculture i repeat the practice of growing plants on a large scale is called agriculture so this is the definition of agriculture well student that was all from my side i would suggest to stay at home and stay safe and keep learning so thank you students next time we will be discussing a new topic until then take care bye bye